Spiral Zipper Manipulator for Aerial Grasping and Manipulation. In this video, we present a novel spiral zipper based system for aerial grasping and manipulation aboard the RCTA Octorotor. Manipulating objects from a flying platform is a difficult engineering task that requires balancing a variety of competing requirements. The system must have a reasonably sized workspace and maneuver in a way that is both accurate and robust, but it must also be as lightweight and compact as possible. The following system uses a novel lightweight prismatic joint called the spiral zipper. It operates by winding a thin plastic band of material about itself to form a column. The formed column possesses remarkable compression strength for its weight, and this combination of properties allows manipulators formed using them to possess very large extension ratios. The aerial spiral zipper utilizes this prismatic joint to offer a unique balance of all the previously described requirements. The presented system is a 3 degree of freedom RRP manipulator that consists of an actuated spiral zipper attached to a U-joint. The zipper column is oriented by a trio of independently adjustable cables fixed to its end. The system weighs 4.3 kilograms, but because the system's actuators are all mounted to its base, most of this weight does not extend with the zipper column away from the vehicle, which helps minimize the unbalancing effect the arm has on the air vehicle. The aerial spiral zipper can easily maneuver objects weighing 2 kilograms at a distance of up to 1.5 meters, and to avoid collisions and path planning difficulties when the arm is not in use, the system can retract to a height of less than 30 centimeters. Because the system is built of low-cost materials, it can be produced for as little as $600. The system uses a pair of absolute encoders on the U-joint to sense its orientation, and a third optical encoder on the spiral zipper column to measure the height. From this information, the position of the end effector can be calculated and a state estimation developed. The feedback controller is based on resolved motion rate control to fully control the X, Y, and Z position of the end effector. Some hardware demonstrations are shown here. First, we test the step response in the X direction, then the step response in the Z direction. Here we command the manipulator to follow two given trajectories. Here we give the system a set of oscillating step response commands in order to show the system's dynamic response capabilities. Finally, we command the arm attached to the flyer frame to mimic a grasping task, which is to pick up a phone off the ground. This work was supported by ARL on the Robotic Perception, Intelligence, and Dexterous Manipulation and Unique Robotics CTA 2010.